correct see if you see here there's a thing called edit this page very very important thing just click on this edit this page okay so it'll open up a new link for you and uh, in this link if you see there are a lot of things but very important point to notice you can start contributing to react native open source just by updating the documentation here it's cool versus repositories from cool versus repository you are raising a pr to the facebook's react native website itself okay, okay. then in the issue section you can click on the labels and you can do like good first good first issue so good first issue is a section or a label that is used across both the react library and react native library now let's continue with the second part of the video where i would teach you how to contribute to popular repositories like react react native view angular etc as i mentioned in the thumbnail let's stick to some some libraries of react so in this particular specific video i'm going to teach you how to contribute to react native the reason being contribute to react native is much easier than compared to com contributing to react alone the reason for that is at this point of video recording react is not having a lot of open issues whereas react native has a lot of open issues where you can contribute to second contribute to react native documentation is very very straightforward so which which will enable you to contribute to open source as early as possible okay so because of these two reasons i'm i'm showing you how to contribute to react native so you don't have to be react native expert to uh, to contribute you can just know basics of web and some conceptual knowledge about the web uh, uh, mobile application development to contribute okay so first thing and the simplest way this holds good for any project that you want to uh, contribute to like contribute to react native react native repository okay so you just searched here then you will get this first link contribute code so i've already opened this okay so this is the website that get opened up on with lot of rules on how to contribute to react native okay so to start off with there are different ways to contribute to react native lot of people lot of people think contributing to open source means just fixing the issues or like only programming part it is not actually like that you can just identify the problems in the repository and you can open an issue so that somebody can fix it or you can help them in reviewing the pull request you can also help them to write some test plans you can also monitor the overall website so that the sanity is maintained a lot of other things except just the coding part how you can involve in the open source okay then they have their uh, explain their development process what are the repositories that you can contribute to then their github issues uh, how security lot of things that there i'm not going to get into all of that because that will take a lot of time but this link will be there in the description section you can always go and check it out then um contribute uh, contributing code there will be a lot of rules you cannot just go ahead and uh, create a branch name with whatever you want and contribute start contributing there are certain rules in the facebook uh, or the react native repository you should also do a contract license agreement so you have to accept the agreement like you have to give the agreement like yeah i am willingly giving this so you can use my code because tomorrow you should not put a case on the open source so very popular libraries like react react native they'll ex expect you to give some agreement make some agreement okay then there are a lot of things step by step guide on how to create your first pull request okay so i'm just opening that how to create your first pull request the reason being they'll give you one very very important thing called branching strategy okay so uh, you cannot name something like whatever you want okay like for example branch every app has their own branching strategy some uh, some branching strategy associated with the uh, uh, the jira ticket or whatever the other tools that you use some branching strategies are associated always like feature slash something if you are building a feature bug fix slash something like the branch name so there will be different projects will have a different uh, names okay so whereas here i could see like uh, with push create a pull request review address okay so here i don't see like uh, they have any particular branching strategy so they are just creating a branch like uh, my feature branch so i don't see they have any particular strategy so let's create some sample branch and get started but before that which project to clone correct see if you see here there's a thing called edit this page very very important thing just click on this edit this page okay so it'll open up a new link for you and uh, in this link if you see there are a lot of things but very important point to notice you can start contributing to react native open source just by updating the documentation here itself but you should uh, you should propose a very healthy change like what is the change that you want to see and it is really helpful for everybody or not is something that meta or facebook will decide okay now to get started what you do is you just go to react native website and then you all you know is like you will fork the repository okay like how we did in the last time uh, since i have already forked this ui is appearing if you not forked same U ui how you appeared in in the last part that will appear okay now go to code copy the url okay 
go to your favorite editor just enter git clone so the project will be cloned it will take a couple of uh, seconds or sometimes up to 30 seconds to clone the uh, react native depending on internet speed and uh, sometimes even the github uh, server speed also matters but typically these projects will download quite quickly okay so project is fully downloaded as you can see all the things you can see let's start by creating our own branch first okay so git checkout minus b is generally the way i use you can also create like git branch that command also you can use okay so i'm naming it like feature slash updating documentation okay then i'm hit enter uh, okay i'm sorry I, I did not check git checkout sorry change the di change the directory to the project so now we're switched into this branch okay as you can see anywhere you can con any any particular page now you can help uh, to enhance the documentation i'm just going and opening some random page see i'm not actually proposing a real change but whenever you start doing read it carefully and then propose your change so you will need a node the react command line interface a jdk and a android studio and a stable internet connection they haven't mentioned it but it's obvious that there has to be internet connection if you have to install any of the uh, library okay so it's a legit change that i'm proposing you can add more meaningful changes also okay so here i made one file change now as you can see correct if i hit enter git status you will see what what are the change that i made so this is the change okay then i'll do like git add dot then i run a command called git commit minus m updating documentation okay then you can do git push as it's a new branch git push will not work just like that you have to do this at upstream then do this so changes are pushed okay so if you come back and refresh here so you can see now updating documentation so i can create a pull request now very very important thing you see here is from where to where you are raising a pull request so base repository is facebook's react native repository and you are con you are raising a pull request to that repository from my repository or cool versions repositories from cool versions repository you are raising a pr to the facebook's react native website itself okay so now thanks for the pr contribution like you keep react native developers afsm please see the contribution guide so we have already checked into it if your pr reference an existing issue if you fix an existing issue then you have to mention the issue number okay otherwise it is good you can just click on this create pull request button now pull request will be created facebook people will review this code and if they think it is fine same way how i merged in the first section of the video they will also merge the change and your name will get added to the list of the contributors to the repository okay now wasn't i'm not interested in doing this small small documentation change but i want to contribute in a actual website like actual technical issues so you can just click on this react native website here and you can go into the pull request okay i'm very sorry you can go into issue section okay then in the issue section you can click on the labels and you can do like good first good first issue so good first issue is a section or a label that is used across both react library and react native library open source library which will indicate like good first issues that can be addressed by you if you are someone who has not contributed open source in the past you want to get started and this is you'll just look for this label and pick a any particular issue that you think that you can fix uh, and download the project same way i did fork a project download the project make the fix add detailed description of what is the fix that you are making and then push the changes so that if facebook likes it they'll accept your a pr and the merge changes and now we are a contributor to a very popular open source library like react native website okay let's say wasn't uh, i i don't want to contribute to react or react website i actually want to contribute to react library itself same way facebook slash react come to this particular url again go and look for good first issue so why i'm again emphasizing good good first issue is those are someone that can be fixed quite easily so if you are someone newbie in the open source world that is something suitable for you okay again click on this go look at the issue understand the issue fix the issue raise a pr again it get merged so if you want me to make a detailed video on how to contribute a technical issue like this please mention that in the comment section i'll be more than happy to make but as it become very technical i haven't discussed that in this particular video okay thank you so much for watching i guess now you know have a idea of how to contribute to open source like react native react or any other projects like my own and uh, i hope you enjoy the video if you, if you like the video please like the video share the video with your friends and in case if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel uncommon geeks thank you so much for watching catch you in next video